now we can consolidate the boot maybe, but uh, Grand Star's going to have a rebellion I think in another two turns, which is fine by me because we'll be good and replenished. So let's have a look, Malthar von Karstein leveled up, you're now level 7, you've got a skill point to use, I've given you good income from all buildings, additional damage caused, adept, thing is you've got, ter I can get this for you but everyone's got that, spoiler, income from all enemy buildings get spoiler for you and then Manfred has gone up as well level 13 now what do I want to get with you because there's lots of stuff I can get for Manfred I, mean, I can get grave ward which is missile resistance cooldown for low magic low spells I want to get this sort of stuff flying horrors charge bonus zombie dragons level 25 so we're only halfway there at the moment red fury God, some of the stuff up here is insane. Look at that. Armor piercing damage, charge bonus, vigor. That's going to be insane. For now, though, I could get the purple sun of Zarius. I think we'll go for that. Purple sun of Zarius. We're going to try that out in the next battle. See how good that is. And we've got quite a bit of money. The moot. Now, do we want to upgrade the moot? I think we do, don't we? Get that corrupted village out the way. And I think we want to actually recruit some buildings and stuff here. I think zombies. Uh, I don't want to have this in every region, though, do I? So get rid of that for a moment. Yeah, I can't really do much here. Yeah, let's get the corrupted village, and we're going to get the. I'm not going to spend anything else apart from that. Grenstad is fine the way it is. You can have Vargas in one turn. And in quite a few turns, you're going to get really good units as well. It's going to be another four turns yet. I mean, I could probably raise the dead. Once you get that Vargeist, I could probably raise the dead, get some shit uh, zombies and come across here to help out with the rebellion, just to get some XP going, because we've got a few turns yet anyway, so we may do that. I got two building slots now at Fort Oberstire. What to do with them, though? I can actually build quite a lot of stuff. I can get Charnel Pit uh, Gibbet for the income. Provide garrison of crypt horrors, dire wolves, crypt ghouls. Add walls to the settlement. See, I can, I can actually add walls to the settlement if I get Graveguard Watchtower. But I, am not, I haven't got the right uh, growth yet for that. I think I'm going to go for the Gibbet just to get the extra income for now. I'd like to have income. I'm a sucker for income. I want to get as much money as I can. It's important. Right, um, that's good. I think we'll probably end the turn there. Oh, how are you enjoying the campaign so far? I mean, I hope that, you know, you enjoy it for those of you that do watch the series. Um, it's nice that a lot of you uh, watch it all the time. What's this? Quest issued. Armor of Templehof. Objectives. Own the entirety of three provinces. Current total one. Thought I had... Hang on now. Wait a minute. Ah, of course. Because, fuck's sake. Because Schwarzenhafen got destroyed. I don't actually own that second province, do I? Ah, oh, oh, God. It's annoying. Could perhaps take out Wissenland and get all that, though, couldn't I? Oh, it's annoying. It's just, just because I, I have to do that at the time. How many turns till Schwarzenhafen? I actually say. Can't really tell. It, well, probably is a way of telling. I just don't know myself. Okay, so it's, I think this has gone down slightly, but we're still going to get the Rebellion next turn. I might just, like, walk into the settlement for the sake of it. Yeah, why not? It's trespass. I want to get this army here, don't I? Let them take Grenstad. I come in and wipe... No, actually, no. We don't want them to take Grenstad, do we? Uh, if I march into it... Okay, we don't want to stay in here though, so we stay out, so that way we get the Rebellion and we can get some XP again then. I'm doing this on purpose just to make sure I got, got chances of getting good units. And I can, at this, every time I can keep recruiting more stuff, so get more of this crap, just to replenish. Look, see it's a good plan. Now you, my smelly friend, you can get that, 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 that. You get the shit units, you get to go on an adventure. So we can put you in March. You're going to basically come out here. you got a crap army. We're going to try and get some XP with you. Meanwhile, this is really secure. Most of my stuff is actually secure now, so that's good. I still got over a thousand I can spend. Again, what do I go for? What do I go for? 
your bit. Can't come to here as there are no available slots. It's a shame. I thought I had a slot, but here, construction slot. It's weird. Not much I can do here anyway. Uh, that's fine, that's fine. The moot. It's not the right uh, level, that's why. Me being silly. Okay, that's fine. Let's um, end turn again. I want that rebellion to pop out. There we go, rebellion time. Rebellion time. I can fight them now this turn, I think. Rebellion, evil end, that's cool by me. Raiding against that, evil end. They decided to raid rather than attack. Migration? Oh shit, what's this? Public order growth. Oh, be gone. Do nothing. Do nothing. That's fine. Oh, what was that then? Technology research. Risen champions. Hey, look at that. So, I get unit experience for all recruits now of the skeletons and zombies. Meaning that I get decent units now across the board. So, when I go to raise now. I don't know if it'll show with this. I think it's when you go. I think you actually have to recruit them locally though and not through that. Anyway, let's get my stance correctly then. Got these guys to deal with. Look at that, they got three mortars. Three mortars, how could they? Good thing is that our public order is now good again. Plus 20 per turn. Vampire corruption. Taxes, rebellion. Da, 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 da. Stable. The thing is, public order is stabilizing and I'm not even in the settlement. So all I gotta do is wipe these guys out and things are looking good again. Do that in a moment. I wanna get you involved, don't I? Can I actually. Are oh, you on Force March as well? That's the thing, I was hoping that you would be able to get there in time. Ah, uh, we'll keep you around here anyway, you can... Still be used. Let's not bother getting zombies though. So I'll do that in a moment. Uh, Castle Drakenhof. Castle Drakenhof. I'm just looking around now. Oh, soon. Soon I'll get my Grave Guard. I need 5,000 to get my Crypt Horrors. Which I can get next turn, so we'll do that next turn. Lovely, okay, this battle, guys. Let's do a little battle. Boom, rebellion. Uh, I don't want her to resolve because of the Varga. Okay, we're gonna fight this. I wouldn't usually say it. If I had more than one Varga unit, I would auto resolve, but the fact is, I don't want to lose them because they cost so much. Thousand per unit. We're, when you consider that the skeletons cost like 200 or something like that, it puts into perspective how much they cost. 24, not gonna gamble with that. We're gonna just rush them, okay? So. Two banks of armies, or lines rather. Group one. We're just going to chuck you like that in that sort of. Well, no, let's get put you in the lines, make things actually a bit more officiated like that. I may have used my Vargeists, but I'm going to put them on the wing and flank around with them. Two generals, lock them into a group. I'm going to put the Vargeists into their own group as well. It's four. And let's start the battle. So group one. Attack. Hold the two button. Attack. Get the Manfred and them up there. Hit number four. Get you up there. Gonna flank around with the Vargeist. On the right flank. That's good for me. Just a big massive charge. Charge him and kill him. Uh, we're gonna be using... What was the one we had just then? Purple Son of Xerxes, or Xerxes, I think. Duration 13 seconds. It can cause disruption against formation. Strongest multiple units. I'm going to use it on these. Let's have a look, see how strong this is. Oh, I think I'll move though. Oh, I think we killed some though. Oh, we did. We actually sucked them up. Bloody hell. Okay. Follow that up with the Fate of Pajuna on them. Uh, let's use this on like that. Doing damage. Look at this. Just Manfred just staying there like a absolute boss. Cryptoras, get in and kill the mortars for me. Halberdiers coming towards me. Let's get these out. Let's intercept them. Two of these. You guys just keep running. Yeah, that actually worked up quite well. I did. I did. I have to learn how to use it properly, I think. But going forward, I'm quite happy with that. Okay, you're going to meet the general. You're going to hit the weakened swordsman. Attack the line. All three of you attack there. 
keep flanking AU, it can all do a hard, well, charge up there. Manfred. Um, need 13 magic. Come on, get that magic back quicker. I need 15 for this, I need 13 for that, and I only got 11 so far. Flank behind, I might not get a chance to use them anymore. I need to use my magic a bit, a bit more effectively than what I have been. Okay, 13, good. Fret up a Jonah. We'll begin 15 soon, so I may just use that. Let's use it on... I'm going to test this out now, I think. Oh, we've got a lot of units over there. Let's, t let's use it on them. There we go. Let's see how it works. Got to group them together. Massive cluster. Let's see how it works. Holy shit, that's quite good. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. I think that was quite good. The units seem to have gone flying. I'm happy enough with that. That seemed to work fairly well. All my units can just descend upon them like that. All of you guys. Attack those halberdiers. How am I doing? Okay, they got some experience now. Look at my Vargeist. They're doing quite well. They are actually doing really well against the halberdiers as well. Thing is, Vargeist, uh, they do have damage dealer. They do a good deal of damage. Got 40 kills, so that's not too bad. I'm going to get Manfred to chase down these hand gunners for me. Magic. Going up very slowly, just trying to speed that up slightly. Speed it up. And there we go, victory! Just like that. It's another rebellion quashed. Just spirit leech. Let my Vargeist get as many kills as they possibly can. Get Oh, look at that Vargeist experience. Rank 1 in this one battle. So, first time I used them, and they've actually got me 58 fucking kills. That's amazing. I'm going to let them just continue to chase them down. Meanwhile, you guys keep chasing the general. I want to get that Vargeist up another rank. Where's the aim now? His, his aim is to get another rank. Fast forward this. What's he got now? Doubt he'll get another rank, but you never know. Oh, never know. In total war. Big cluster of halberdiers here. See if we can get them killed for me. Get them killed for me, please, Vargeists. In triple speed as well. It's going to look probably terrible on YouTube. As you can see, it's two thirds of the way there. Doubt they'll be able to do it at the end of this battle, but you never know. It's worth giving it a shot. Because as you can see, they've gone up and the leadership, melee attack, melee defense are all gone up slightly, which means they're going to be even more formidable next time. And against a base rebellion army, I guess, they're just going to crush them constantly. Chase this halberdier because it's a ranked halberdier. Halberdier. It's going to be absolutely wiped out. Wipe it out, please. Five more to go. Apparently, there's some over here. They've completely split up from their force. That's quite funny. My zombies are still chasing the general. He's still going strong as well. It's ridiculous. Okay, you can actually go up here. Yeah, everyone just control A. Just do this, probably. Control A and kill the general. Everything's going in there. <laughs> look at this in triple speed. Oh, look at it. It's like a beehive. Triple speed beehive. Come on, guys. That's epic. Here come the VAR, guys. Coming in for the kill. His health's, like, really strong. Very tired, shattered. Army routing. Manfred's actually got some of the good stuff. So let's use the Purple Sun. The Xerxes. Because that is just way op it doesn't It doesn't the same damage as does. That is cool. Oh, look at that. Blows all my own troops. Doesn't kill my own troops, does it? I'm not taking losses from this, am I? Better hope not. I need, I need to research this. Cannot target if on a wall. Cannot use if crumbling. Of climbing, sorry. Strong against multiple units. It causes magical damage. Can disrupt unit formation. Large movement. Okay. End turn, there we go, uh, end, end turn, end battle, there we go. Only lost 322, we outnumber them by a hell of a lot though. That was really good, some of the XP you could see on this, 94 kills, that's really good for the Vargeist. New XP for him, oh, loot as well, Eight, oh, 680 loot. Plenish, what do I want to do? Leadership, murder the captives. I'm going to murder them I think, yes, murder the captives. Oh, they're still alive. 
Weapon gained. Good news is I can kill him in the follow-up battle right now. Which I may as well do. I'm gonna... Oh, I don't want to water at all. Thing is, because of them... Okay, this is... I'm gonna... Oh, I'll lose my bargain. Let's fight it, right? But I swear to God, I'm this, I'm, I'm this kind of annoyed with the auto resolve because this auto resolve, I'd win obviously, but I'd lose the Vargas probably. And if there's a chance of losing them after putting that effort in to just sort of, you know, it's pathetic really. I'm this confident it's just gonna be one group. I'm this confident it's just gonna be one group. I'm gonna send my Vargas up there. Oh, Manfred's going to be running forward. Where's their general? They don't really have a general, do they? Oh, this is going to be fun now. Right. Don't know what to think of this. I'm going to use this instead. Uh, we can wipe out. Okay, we're going to use this on Helmut van Zanga. He is the general, the lord, the leader. Here's the leader. I'm going to be using Manfred heavily in this battle, I think. I'm going to try and wipe out the general using his magic straight away. You've got good magic as well. Manfred. Wait of Bajuna. Getting closer to use it. Here you go. Here you go, Say to Bajuna. Summon that shit, darling. Summon that bullshit. Oh, guys. Attack the mortars for me. Oh, it's good. The general's fucked. The general's fucked. Fate. Oh, I killed him. One hit. One hit on the general. Oh, fuck it. I'm, char I'm charging him in. I'm charging him into mortar crews. I'm going to use this shit as well. Watch this shit by you now. On, on, I can charge man Manfred into the mortar crews by you knocked him flying. And I'm using magic on all of these. Brace yourselves! Get fucked! And my Vargas have landed now as well to cause more damage. They are gonna get absolutely murdered! We have barely lost a man! We've lost like six! Wait the Pajuna! Oh, get absolutely wrecked! By my dead army! Dead army! Dead army! Dead army! Victory! I know it was unfair, I, I outnumbered them heavily, but bloody hell. Oh, look at this Vargas going up to, to, to the next rank. Actually doing really well. Okay, I'm happy enough with that. End the battle there. I'm not gonna bother this time. But as you can see that that was worth it again because you got 30 kills from that. Up another chevron. This is turning. I'll keep some of the skeleton warriors and some of the you know, I'll I will keep some of these. Cause they if they get good experience, there's no point in getting rid of them. They'll still be useful to me, but I'm obviously gonna be looking to get Graveguard in Manfred's army soon. Which is why I don't mind swapping them and getting Manfred back to the castle Drakenhof just to get the Graveguard. I'm going to get the replenishment this time, because I'll actually help the Vargeist. But again, armor piercing. So now if you look at Manfred, again, he's still not dead. How the hell aren't they got one mortar crew and he's still alive? What the hell? Manfred's got up another level, so that's good. Now, what do we go for? He's up to level 14. I went for that last time. That was quite good, though, wasn't it? Uh, if I get it again, though, I get a better cooldown of it, basically. Don't really want that, I don't think, just yet. I basically got all, all his magic then, so that's good. I can actually get better stuff here, but I don't really use it, so I'm not going to worry too much. Got all of this stuff here. Armor. Blow. Cooldown for death spells. Better cooldown is going to be useful, actually. That's going to be good, so that's that's what I'm considering right now. Aura of Dark Magic, character's aura size. That's going to be useful because his influence will be better with better leadership. I could get better, me me better melee attack for zombie skeletons and crypt ghouls. Melee attack for diabolos. Don't really use them that much. Leadership and attack in Lord's Army. Aura of Dark Magic. It's getting better aura. And we're going to use Manfred again. This has been quite profitable. It's been quite a profitable turn for us. Manfred. Attack. Alright, you know what, I'm going to fight it. It's getting ridiculous, I know, but still, I'm I'm that concerned with the bloody Vargulf... Vargeist, rather, rather. I'm, I'm, I'm still in, like, shock because I lost my Vargulf in, like, the first or second episode, and... Oh, gamble. Six is way too low. Oh, it's going up, it's going up, it's going up. Ten, that's good enough for me. Uh, I'm going to get a... Group them. I'm just gonna like use 
You. I can just use two units basically. Start deployment. I'm just gonna use everything. Manfred! It's gonna be Manfred and the bloody Varggeist basically. I'm just moving my army for the sake of moving them. Move them for the sake of moving them! It's so unfair. I should do this without losing anyone, but you just never know in Total War. That's why I would never risk it. Take your money, take your broken dreams. See, they are firing upon me now. They actually hit, taking fire on the Varghese. Bastards, bastards. Thing is, they're stationary, so they're going to take hits from this. We use that. Once we get in range. Then we use that. And that should kill you. Back. I mean, someone went to die. We're okay, I think they missed. And now they're fucked. Oh, don't hit them from point blank range. Oh, there we go. Boom. They're fucked. Oh, look at that kill. Oh, that kill ratio. Manfred's magic isn't even needed. I don't think I lost a single person, did I? I did. I actually lost like 24 people. Let the Vargals get their kills. Let them get their experience up. Vargeist, rather. I keep saying the wrong thing. And Manfred just uses magic. Finally. And decides the victory. There we go. Huh, lost none. I actually didn't lose anyone. And then why did they say I did? They're lying, I say. They're lying. Decisive victory. Weapon gained. And now the rebellion is no more. 